Another episode of life at TSL. So as you all know, a lot of people in TSL are adulting and getting their own house. Today is finally my turn to intrude somebody's privacy. That is Zayn. I'm going to ring his bell. Ain't no sound, eh? Boy. Is it don't work? Ding dong. Hello, what's up? Your bell don't work, ah? Ah, don't. Welcome, 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 welcome. welcome. Wow. Hello, hello. You know, We've been doing a lot of Kipo episodes, right? Uh-huh. I'm very happy. Finally, right? I get to intrude your space for real. So. Okay. Yay! <laughs> I've I... been waiting for you to intrude my space. So I can open every cupboard? Can. You say Anna? I see one. I never tell her to do that. No. <laughs> This is actually a two-bedder apartment. I think it's about 743 square feet. No, actually it's not about, it is 743 square feet. So, so basically I'm renting with my friend. Mm. Uh, but I think some of my friend's stuff are not here yet. Mm. So I think for now, I'm just going to show you some of the things that I actually use in my space itself. Okay, I have to say that first look, right? Mm-hmm. It looks like a resort. <laughs> Even you dress like you're at Bali resort like no, that, no. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the entire house, the concept is more of like very minimalist resort mm. type of vibe. Like modern but Bali-ish wood okay. texture. So when we walk in... Yeah, so this furniture later I will show you one by one. But we bought at this particular place called V-Hive. We saw that they were having like a sale, closing down sale. The more I see the sale, I go in. Then they were like, okay, this one is pay piece, $100. Then I'm like, I'll take, take, take. So I took all. So all these four pieces were 600 plus. Uh. So I think it's not too bad. So cheap. Yeah, 600 plus. So we bought this uh, table to kind of welcome people into the room with like a very big mirror so that we can check ourselves out. I like that. Before we go out. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I also like that I come in, right? I can make sure I look good enough. Because I, I saw design design technique. Uh, mm. They said if you want to design some stuff, things must come in trees. One, two, three, like one one set. Like that. Or the home spray considered one. Ah, uh, can also lah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You walk into it. <laughs> My nose just slammed the tree trunk. So when you first come in, this is the inbuilt storage lah. Okay, this is my shoe closet. It looks like that. I mean, it's a basic one. They came with only two shelves, so we wanted to use up the space. So we bought this little amazing things from Ikea. So it helps you stack your one pair of shoes into one, like, one height. I don't know, I guess like that. Save space. Yeah, to save space lah. So these are all my shoes that we regularly, uh, we regularly, re- you. you say we? We regularly use. Yes, nice. <laughs> then here is the messy part. It's just the internet. Messy? Um, this is messy? It is why, like, I don't know. This one is all the cleaning stuff ah. Like, your mop, I don't know, spray, I guess. You know, first of all, thing is you must get your own internet. Mm. And I had no idea what all these cables are. So I had to call all my engineer friends, right? <laughs> and then go and ask them, so what is what panel? What is what? Because it's a condo, right? Yeah. And then when you rent, it does not come with this. It came with all the different plugs. But then it's like, you know, when you go and apply at the internet place, mm. right? They'll ask you, oh, um, where is your optic cable? Where's your optic fiber cable? Then I'm like... What was that? Yeah, then I said, uh, sorry, i come back tomorrow. Then even internet, right? You must be strategic about it. If not, later your room got no wi- Correct. Yes. No, I didn't know all this, no. Mm-hmm. I took it for granted there. Eh. Okay, so yes. this is your dining area. Yeah, so I think one of the things that you need to know when you are renting is whether you want it to be furnished or unfurnished mm-hmm. or partially furnished. So mine was unfurnished. So the first thing that I came to think about is like, okay, how am I going to utilize this space? Because like, if you want to do dry later, you your butt will hit the table <laughs> yeah. that time, you know? It's very stressed. But that's how we got the dining table. Lah. This one is actually quite pricey. How much? <laughs> this one is about, I think, 800 something. Okay, can we, can we sit down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 800 plus. Oh! Yeah. The cushion will sink down a bit, you know? So right, like, if you go to this favourite place of mine, it's called Oven and Fried Chicken. You use the same chair! Okay, so our kitchen is relatively small, so we have a very little space to play around with the tabletop lah. Uh, we don't utilize the oven, so we keep it as storage. Oh, this one uh, got 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 hack one eh. I think FairPrice or or Giant or whatever they sell for damn expensive, you know. But got this shop ah, uh, they sell for half the price eh. I don't know, I don't know why I'm whispering ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but we were like, oh my god, this is only for like what forty nine ninety. We were like, dang. Yeah, see, got crumbs because yesterday I cooked nugget. You never. Your house made in tea, yeah? Never. 
But okay, later I will wash. Yeah. Actually, I did not know what this was, but I was at China. I was like, hey, can we buy that Lady Susan? <laughs> it's not Lady Susan, it's Lazy Susan. Uh, but the reason why we put this here is so that we can, you know, like maximize mm. the space and like find things better. La. Especially when it's so high and deep in. Yeah, so this is our little pantry area. Let me just, because I cannot reach, huh? so I must do this. Because the shelf is actually quite high, mm. so we want to cut it into half so that we can use both space instead of just using like below here. But I tell you, this one very nice. From Don Donkey. Sweet ah. Very nice. Oh. I can't wait for your tea, for your tea. Wow, oh, I'm so excited. I must buy water first ah. <laughs> Aya. Uh, see this, why it's so hard to live alone, you know? Oh, so may I get a royal milk tea? Sure, sure, no problem. Anything else? No, uh, hot please. Hot? Hot, hot. Okay. Thank you. Okay, it's here. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, you try first. This one's from Don Donke. <laughs> This house actually, they really plan it properly lah Because this one, you can pull out Like that So this is to maximize the space lah And I think, let's say if you are renovating your house or what You can request for this type of shape So this one is organized in a way whereby the top layer is mine If I want to cook some yang, then I use this one Then if I want to cook like the curry maggi, this one I cannot even cook maggi Okay And everything here is like, it doesn't slam uh... So no matter how angry also you Oh <laughs> Okay, what about you reenact the angry housemate scene? Zin, why you never clean your nuggets again? Your air fryer! I clean? I clean? Can you? First aid box, first aid box! Oh, yeah, right yeah. here, right here, first aid, here, here! Oh, let's see on the $800, $800 bench! Okay, so what first do you need? What do you need? I, I saw so <laughs> Okay, so this, uh, because our kitchen is very small, so we want to elevate the space and use up and utilize the space better. So we bought this together with the rest of the other furniture also mm. to keep our dry store. Dry store goods, they call it. And then this one is a microwave that my parents gave me for my birthday. So you know when you are doubting when your parents give you like home appliances for your birthday, yeah? So this is where we keep our medicine. Lah. So it's very organized. So when people injured, we can just attend to them like we are paramedics. First aid box, first aid box. Okay, so this is my vacuum. Want to get a Dyson, but doesn't too expensive. Mm. So we get this one lah. Do you have anything to say to Dyson? Uh, if you wanna, you know, sponsor. sponsor a vacuum in my house, it will be right here where everybody enters and they can see. <laughs> then when I do my IG story, like, hey guys, I'm going out, it will be seen also. So you can replace this uh, little vacuum if you want to. This is a fake plant area. So all these are fake, fake. This plant is actually very short. So to elevate it, we use uh, one of my, my curry paste. Because otherwise it would look like this. Like very sad, right? Then this is our living space law. This one was given to us by my housemate's brother. Oh my god. I know inspired by who? By who? Moth Burger. L O S A! You know what you're lacking? What? You need the LED light that says burger right here. <laughs> but this is my relaxing area, so when I come home, I will on this switch at the back to vibrate, then it will vibrate. Not the chair, but this little machine yeah. called U Pebble. Ah. Oh, this is a very unflattering angle. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so now we are in our little planter. I wouldn't call it balcony lah, because it's very small. Mm. Like, it's literally just the size of you. Oh no! So this is where like, we actually hang our clothes to dry here lah. Yeah, so this is uh, the plants that my housemate, because my housemate likes to plant and take care of plants lah. Mm. So this is like his area, but he has names. Some of them I forgot. But I know this one is Mika. Or, or is it Mika? <laughs> this is uh, lavender, it smells very nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, the corridor to the bedroom. This is the my housemate's bedroom lah. It's not fully furnished yet, so I kind of use it to store my my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so currently, the whole house is your house ah? Ish lah. <laughs> okay, so this is like the storage area for now before my the bed comes lah. And because the house got no storeroom, mm. but but it came with this. Ta da! Wow, it's very deep. It's a storage space so that we can put. I think you can fit for I sure. I also think I can go in eh. Please enter into the world of the unknown. It's legit eh. Hey, goodbye. Bye. Ayo. Oh. <laughs> oh no, Amanda is sitting on it. Hey! Move your butt away! Hello? 
So you gotta be smart about how you wanna uh, like uh, like uh, organize your house, I guess. Yeah. So this is our guest toilet. Uh, we like the space because we can actually put all these cleaning tools behind the mirror to keep you organized, so that we can find it very easy. I have to say, uh, your toilet is sparkling clean. This is the laundry area, and also to add a smelly shit smell out. <laughs> so if you shit here, but you, you then you, people can see. Yeah. So you must decide. Do you want to be able to tahan the shit smell first before you open? Or just, just let people see. Or just, just let people see. What do you choose? So I choose to just tahan the smell oh. first, then I wash, then I open. Okay. And this is the bedroom. Finally. Ta -da it's more personalized like because there's my paintings and stuff. And because this house we cannot actually like drill anything. So this one we actually got like a 3M sticky velcro tape. Then we put this behind. Mm. Yeah. So these side tables I got from Carousel for two for $20. Then he actually sell it for like two for 40. Then he said, Alamak, bro, like the back panel don't have. Then I said, never mind, it's okay. I'll take it for two for 20. He said, okay, sure, come take. So one for 10. One for 10. Then here is my t-shirts in color coded. Like I prefer it to be like that. So this is the side of the room that I really like because it's a parapet. But because I don't want to dirty it, right? So I put the carpet. I thought you scared of heights. Yeah, but it's not no. But I tell you, one time I was supposed to close the window, then I scared. So I did this, then I cannot. So I must always like do like this, then close. <laughs> Thank you very much for the house tour and for yeah. the milk tea. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know that my house is Moss Burger inspired. Yes, you just <laughs> need to add this LED light over here. <laughs> okay, but I have some questions regarding how you go about renting this place mm. because I have not even looked into renting my own house yet. How long do you take to find this place? Okay, I wouldn't say very long. It's about maybe three to four months because I think the first thing for me I want to know is how many bedrooms do I want? So it took me a while to settle on it because budget plays an important part because the time where I got it right, the market in for rental is the highest in six years. The previous tenant actually paid only 2.5. And you are paying? But I'm paying 2.9. Wow. Because right, what I heard is that COVID. Mm. So what happened is that there's a lot more demand for them to rent. And I was very lucky because within five minutes I came in, I look, 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 then I said, okay, can. I, yeah, I like, I'm gonna put the price. The next couple of weeks I got it already. Oh, so yeah. fast. So do you think right, you deciding on this that quickly plays a part in you getting it also? Not really, eh? Because it's more of like the profile. Mm. So when you want to rent, right, you need to make sure that you have your profile. What a profile is, is basically uh, how many people are renting. Thing, what is your age? What is your race? What are you working as? So these are the things that the owner will care about. They will scan through your profile first. If they see that your profile fits, then they will say, okay, how about you come for a viewing? Mm. Then they will meet you. Then you have to give your first good impression because your relationship with the landlord needs to be good also. Yeah. So actually like there is this thing called the tenant agreement when you are renting hall. So the tenant agreement, the moment you sign is a done deal. And it will come with this thing called the inventory list where it will tell you all the things that the house comes like. If the house got hole, which hole is it? So in the, the inventory list, it actually put washer and dryer. Mm. So I was like, oh, okay, sure. Somehow when we come here also, we never check. When we actually eventually move in, we realized that it is not a washer and dryer, but it's just a washer. Oh, yeah. Then we were like, then how are we going to dry our clothes, yeah? <laughs> Like then we of course we feedback to the landlord. Then then the landlord was like, oh yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, let me get it replaced for you. So she replaced the washer <laughs> with a washer and dryer because she already signed and she already promised us mm. that there is a washer and dryer. So always check your inventory list before you sign your tenants agreement. Mm -mm. But so far you happy living here? I think the first night I was scared because <laughs> there was no furniture. No, every sound like hey, I like. Oh no, oh no. Like, like, alert. It took a while to adjust to living alone. One tip to give if you are wanting to rent is make sure that you have the finances to pay for the full two years, three years of your lease. Because let's say, what if anything can happen? You can get into an accident or you can lose your job. You have to always prepare for rainy days. Yes. So I think the safest bet is for me to always plan ahead of time, make sure that you have the finances to do so. If you are not able to do so, go for something smaller, go for a smaller square feet. Don't be so ambitious just because it's your first rental. Always make sure that you tailor it to what you are comfortable with. So always have a certain amount of money that you are comfortable with first to cover all this, including the miscellaneous costs before you actually go and find house. Thank you for watching this episode of Live at TSL and thank you Zing for letting us into your house. Thanks for coming. Yes, and if you like this video, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Remember, remember to ring the notification bell over here and watch our other videos over there.
Bye. Bye. Now Zane needs to go and wash his air fryer before his housemates come back. Yes, I'm yes. also gonna school. Yeah. <laughs>